In 1942, SS Chief Heinrich Himmler initiated Operation Reinhardt, Nazi Germany's final solution to the Jewish question. Three death camps were built and staffed under top secret orders. These camps, all in eastern Poland, were Belzec, Treblinka, and the most secret, Sobibor. Sobibor. It was here, on October the 14th, 1943, that the biggest, most successful prisoner revolt in World War II took place. This is that story. Did you speak to them? Yes, Liam. But they're still going to tell us. Liam. Liam. What's going on? We are assigned to the vegetable plot today. While you're all at the station, we are going to go. We've been working on that fence. It's our chance. In broad daylight, through the minefield, it's crazy. You'll never make it. We have the courage right now. Who knows if we will tomorrow? Leon, we are going to do it. Nobody can stop us. Good luck. Nothing but a little target practice. I want no problems here today. Is that clear? Take your positions. Dismissed. Attention, Railroad Brigade Jews. As always, I expect you to be smiling when a train arrives. Remember, we are welcoming these people. This will run smoothly. If there's a problem like yesterday's, if people panic or try to run, I don't have to remind you, you will be killed.
remember, we've got to stay together. Leave your bag. No. Stay right next to me. If you want to stay together, volunteer. they ask you, tell them you have a trade. separated into two groups, just temporarily. Women and children on this side, men and boys 14 years of age or older on the other. Those who are ill or too weak to walk will be assisted. Leave your luggage, it will be brought to you later. Now move as quickly as possible. Move. Mama, he said we'll be together in a little while. Yes, a little while. In case your sister. Which side Women to go? No! No! Don't, don't start anything! Move! Mark! Do you see how I am scattering this grain by grain? That will be what will happen with your filthy reich. It will vanish like flying dust and passing smoke. No. You stand right here and don't move till I tell you. everyone to listen to me carefully. You have arrived at Sobibor. You are in eastern Poland. This is a labor camp. We have brought you here to work. You will work hard, but 
Hard work is good for the soul. So in reality, we are your benefactor. You will be housed, you will be fed. All we ask is your cooperation. If you do your job, you will have nothing to fear. You will be given postcards, write to your relatives and friends to tell them that you have arrived here safely. We will mail them for you. Unfortunately, there have been reports that typhus has broken out at several labor camps. We do not want typhus at Sobibor. Therefore, first you will be taken to the shower facility, where you will each have a hot shower. Naturally, men and women will shower separately. Women will have their hair cut short before they shower. While you are showering, your clothing will be disinfected. Remember, the better your behavior, the easier your stay will be. Hauptschauführer Wagner, Oberschauführer Frenzel. I need experienced shoemakers and tailors. Is anybody an extra team strength? Qualified team strength? I want professionals. Shoemakers. Here. Any tailors? I am a seamstress. Any experienced shoemakers? Where did you work? Any tailors? For how long? In Warsaw for two, no, for two and a half years in a clothing store, Belowski's. I did alterations. Any experienced Good. shoemakers? Step forward. Any tailors? I am a seamstress. Step forward. Are there any first class shoemakers? Seamstresses? Any tailors? I'm a shoemaker, sir. Best. Step forward. Any experienced shoemakers? Is anybody else a seamstress? Qualified seamstresses? Here, sir. I'm a seamstress. Is this your son? Yes, sir. No? Can't use you. I'm a seamstress, sir. Step forward. Qualified seamstresses. I need experienced shoemakers. Any tailors? Sir, I'm a goldsmith. Seamstresses? See? I made that. Qualified seamstresses. These are my tools, sir. I want professionals. All right. Step forward. Oh, and sir, my brother, he's a goldsmith too. He helps me. We can make jewelry, anything. All right. Step forward. Is anybody an extra team Qualified team presence? We'll see. I want. Sir? What about our father? Never mind him. Team Stay here, I'll be back. Is anybody else? Any tailors? I'm a tailor, sir. From where? Bialystok, sir. Very experienced. See? All right. Step forward. Any more? Schaffner Wolf? Women and children, follow me! Did you come here with your husband? No, I'm not married. My name's Bargy. I'm Luca. I'm Naomi. My husband is fighting with the partisans.
Hurry up. Get in. I'm Samuel. Welcome. I'm Itzhak. We work here for the SS and their Ukrainian guards. How did you know I was a shoemaker? I didn't. But what if I'd been a shopkeeper or something? I'd have taught you. It happens here all the time. So why did you tell me to volunteer? Because you look like someone I could get along with, and that's important in Sobibor. Where do you come from? Come on, come on. Come, come, come in. Come. Stop. Wait, over there. What do we do now? He said to wait. Someone will tell us. They can't allow babies in here. the baby in here. They can all be killed for that. You must get it out of here. And put it where? What would you do if that was your baby? It's Wagner. Good morning, ladies. someone who can take care of rabbits. Does anyone here have experience? I have. Stand up. How did you learn? At home. We raised rabbits and chickens. My mother sold them at the market. You have a new job. Obakapu Schroeder. Come. Don't get Wagner angry. These Nazis can be madmen. He is the worst. What is your name? Luca. Luca. Well, Luca, the woman who tended the rabbits twisted her back a few days ago. We haven't seen her since. Sergeant Wagner arranged that. The rabbits are food for the SS. They love their haas and pfeffer. You'd better know what you're doing. Oberkappa? Does that mean you're in charge of all the capos? Yes. Are you Jewish? All the capos are. There are only Jews here. A Jew and you work for the Nazis? I have no more choice than you do. But you carry a whip. Do you think? Where are all the women and children? Ada, look. Yeah. 
Go on. Stuff your faces right in front of us. Shame on you. Big man, cut for party. What God did you bribe to get food for you and your horn? You're wrong, good. Shut up! Give me that food! Hey, I'm warning you! Why do we fight among ourselves? If we have energy to spend, let's spend it against those who have reduced us to this. White. Here. Let them share this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you Leon? Yes. I thought so. Samuel said I should see you. I'm Isaac Lichtman. Oh, yes. He told me about it. You're from South Africa? Yes. I have been there many times. Ah. Did you know the rabbi there? Rabbi Schmeitzer? Yes. He was a close friend of my father's. Did you know they shot him? No. It's in the synagogue. During the service on Yom Kippur. I was there. Let's go outside. You found him good. Samuel and I are forming a small group. Hmm. We have to select our people very carefully. Yeah. We're planning an escape. Escape? For how many? We don't know yet. Ten people, perhaps twenty, when we work out the details. But whatever we say here, whatever we say here must be kept secret at all costs. I swear to God, I'd rather die right here, right now, than betray you. Good. Can I bring my wife? And my son, can I bring him? How old is the boy? Four. When you saw your wife and child at the train station last, who were they with? They were with all the other women and children going to the shower. Are you sure? Yes. What is it? It's a... What? Listen to me. What? This is a death camp. Every day a train comes. All the people... Everyone who goes to the showers is dead. Men, oh. women, children, everyone. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, no. When did it? Oh, no. It's oh, a... God. It's a... Oh, no. The fire. Oh. The fire is the funeral. charges of rabbits. I've seen her. The pudding. I wouldn't mind having a little of that trap now. With Jews? Well, that's disgusting. If you saw her. Remember Paul and Groth, two good men, kicked out of the SS and sent to the Russian front for raping Jewish girls. That didn't make sense to me. Me either. We are ordered to kill them, but we are not allowed to use their bodies first. Well, as it should be. We're SS, we're the elite. We do not foul ourselves in Jewish filth. The British bombed Hamburg again. And again, I'm lucky. 
My wife and kids are all right, thank God. Just be glad you're in a safe place. Look at us, proud defenders of the right. Don't talk like that. My father was killed in the first war, doing his duty for the fatherland. And we are doing our duty for the Führer here. <laughs> That's as honorable as being on a battlefield. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> You're crazy. What do you do? Sit in your little booth and turn on the gas. Valve on. Wait 20 minutes. Valve on. Big job. It takes great courage. Bauer. How many Jews did you guess today? Don't talk about that in front of them. They don't hear anything, do you? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't hear you. See? They are dead. How old are you? Fifteen, sir. Fifteen? My son is twelve. I hope he lives to be fifteen. I mean, if a Jew can, why can't he? What's your name? Toivy, sir. Toivy. Get me another beer. Yes, sir. Get this butcher out of here! Can I help you, sir? Here's a little present for you. Put it to work! Tell them your name. We know Toivy, sir. We can use him. Nobody asks you that. I want a design in gold, on the handle. A snake that winds around from here to here. I'd be happy to do that for you, sir. But Sergeant Wagner, he said that I was... I don't want to hear about Hauptstadtführer Wagner. Just do it, I'll break some bones. Understood? Yes, sir. Send him to compound three tomorrow morning. Ask for me at the gate, Scharfführer Bauer. I will have a gold piece. I want to insert it in the end of the handle, here. Yes, sir. Look at this. Thank you. The skin is the most nourishing part. I put a piece in, in your soup, too. Try it. You must eat. The best revenge is for you to survive. My family was murdered, too. What are you doing? You're not allowed in here. 
Sergeant Bell ordered me here, sir. Wait, dear. Oh, here he is. Moses! Moses! Moses, what happened? Did someone hurt you? No. Well, what is it? What happened? Tell us. I went there to get this. From Sergeant Bell. Yes, I know that. I saw the shower place. And there are no showers, because all the people who go in there are killed. I saw the dead bodies. Women. Babies. All twisted together. Everyone who goes for a shower is dead. A whole family is dead. Knew this. Knew and you didn't tell us. My family are dead too. The sergeant. They said if I told anyone, they'd kill me. Oh, our mother. And our father. And our sister. I'm murdered. Now I want to kill. And I will kill. <laughs> Yes, sorry, Boris Hell. But you cannot survive here without God. To survive and stop. Which one of you is Leon? I am. You're the new uh, the new goldsmith. Shlomo. Yes, hello, Shlomo. What's going on in here? How can you do this in a place where they murder your families? They kill little children and, and you make music. You laugh, you play games, you even make love in here at the carnival. And you work for these monsters. You pack up our clothing to send to Germany. My mother's clothing, my father's clothing. Now that you know the truth about Sobibor, will you still make jewelry for them? What will you do? Refuse? Consider yourself an honored person because you let them kill you? No, you won't, as we don't. And every day will be an agony of conscience. It's the same for everybody here. When I came here, I was with my wife and small child. They took me to work in the sorting shed. My wife and child were sent to the showers. The next day, I am sorting through clothes, and I, I come... I come across their clothes. I find them by accident. This is the way I find that they are dead. My wife, my child. But what is there to do but survive? Yes, we sing, we dance. Sometimes we make jokes. We make love. If not, we deny life. We work for them so we may survive. And we survive for a reason. Revenge. And someday we will have it. Do you understand? I would do anything for revenge. 
even if I have to die for it. Agnes is going to be late on his rounds today. No, he isn't. Here he comes. Good morning, ladies. And how is your work progressing this morning? I'm in a good mood today. I'm going to let you live. No. You really shouldn't. You're a lucky woman. Give me my baby. You don't understand. I'm offering you a chance to live. It's quite unusual. I spit on your offering, you know it's past. Out of here. We've got to get out. But even if we do, even if we do escape, what then? We disappear into the forest. There are partisan groups there. We find these groups and we join them. But first things first, we must find a way of escaping. This should be one of our easier days. These Dutch will behave themselves. I'll take this. Here. Be sure to keep your baggage checked. Thank you. Uh, just a second. Here you are. You're not allowed to accept tips, madam. Nonsense. Please, take it. I can't. Well, then only as a souvenir from Holland. Are there any other Dutch people already here? No, this is the first train from Holland. your baggage check. Don't lose it. Thank you. I won't. When they ask for seamstresses or laundresses, raise your hand. Whatever it is, say you're a professional. Why? Just do it. They amused. Bastards. Not only do we die for them, we dance for them like stupid performing bears. That was charming. 
a lovely folk dance. Thank you. Very charming. Now, everybody dance. Play. I want you all to have a good time. Come on. Dance. Enjoy it. Let's dance. Let's dance. Come on. Dance. May I have the honor? Let's dance. Come on. Come on. Hello, Vashti. Hello. You dance beautifully. Thank you. You came to Sobibor alone? Yes. Where are your family? I don't know where they are. I'm by myself. I'm done by myself. My name is Khan. I'm so much. Hello. Would you dance with me? Well, I would. Come on! Come on! You look like you want to dance. But I don't know how. Would you like me to show you? No laughing. Maybe just a little. I keep seeing people coming to you for advice. We talk. It passes the time. Whatever it is, if I can ever help, just say so. Ashley, I don't know how to say things like this, but I want you. Let me tell you, you do know how to say things like that. Shlomo, I'm 26. Why don't you ask one of the younger girls? I've never eaten an apple before. I wouldn't want a green one. Barshley. When? We'll see. taking them so long? I don't know. Stay here. I'll have a look. Stop here! Stop here! Move! Two prisoners escaped at the stream. They have a rifle. You! You! You and you, follow me! Come on! You got out. Let's go! Go!
Stand at attention! This morning, two prisoners escaped from North Camp. Thirteen other prisoners, no doubt inspired by that idiotic example, also tried to escape. If any of you would like to cheer, go right ahead. There will be no more escape attempts in this camp. I repeat that. There will be no more escape attempts in this camp! We are going to kill these 13 men while you watch. But we are going to do more than that. We are going to allow each of these men the privilege of selecting one of you as his partner in death. 26 will die today. Go and select your partners. You're all free to walk over and select your partners. Do it now. I said, do it now. Do it now! No! None of us will do it. We will never. Let me explain. This is simple mathematics. So it shouldn't be too difficult to understand. If you 13 men do not select 13 to die with you, then I will select 50. So the decision is yours. 13 or 50. And now we begin. You will watch this so that you will remember. If I find anyone turning away or closing their eyes, then that person will join these 26 who are about to die. Schaffio <laughs> Falaster? Yes, Hauptschaft, Herr Wagner. Take your positions. Of the Hitler! Fire.
Enough time off now. Everyone back to work. Tell the others. We meet in your shop tonight. Eight o'clock. There's something we have to discuss. We've been planning an escape from a small number of people. But you saw what happened today with 13 and tried to escape. The same thing would happen again. We cannot leave hundreds behind to be slaughtered, and they would be. Therefore, the escape we plan must be for every prisoner in Salvivar. Everyone? Even the workers in Camp 3? Yes, all 600. Or else no one. <laughs> but that's impossible. I mean, how can we get 600 people out of here? I, I believe there is a way, and I believe that we must find it. Lynn's right. It's an incredible idea, 600 people. Everyone in Sobibor must have a chance to be free. There is no other choice. Morris? Monday? Good friend? Good. Then we are agreed. All right. Let's put our minds to discovering what this plan should be. There is one if we can just find it. Let's talk about a tunnel again. It's hack. It would have to be at least 50 yards long. How do we do that? It doesn't matter. Let's say we can dig this tunnel and hide the dirt. Then suppose we start the escape at midnight and give each of our 600 people one minute to get through the tunnel, crawl through, and escape into the woods. One minute, which is impossible, but never mind. That adds up to 600 minutes, 10 hours. We'd still be escaping at 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, we have to come up with a real plan soon. It's there. We can find it. We'll meet again tomorrow. Russian soldiers. What are they doing here? They should be in a prisoner of war camp. Maybe they're all Jews. Maybe. We wanted to know about the Russians. They are all Jewish. They're here to do heavy labor in the North Camp. Thanks. See if their officer will meet me in the women's barracks tonight. I don't know what's going on, but whatever it is, I wish you good luck. Just see what he's like. Let's find out if he'll trust us. Or whether we trust him. Civilians and soldiers, Russians, Poles, trusting each other. I don't know. Well, we have to try. Supposing they escape. If they escape, 
We'll pay for it. Lieutenant, I am Leon Fellhandler. Alexander Pichesky. This is Samuel Freiberg. A pleasure, Lieutenant Pichesky. Everyone calls me Sasha. It saves time and energy. Thank you. We would like very much to know what's happening in the outside world. Would you tell us? Of course. What's happening on the wall? Please, please. How away is your army? We are between six and seven hundred miles away. We are beating back the Nazis, but it is a slow process. Are there partisans nearby? Could they help us? They have many things to do. I'm afraid here we must help ourselves. Let us be open with each other. You did not ask me here just to be friendly with the Russian soldiers. No. So what do you want of us? To see if we can trust each other. Trump you! Trump you! Why should I trust you? We are two Jews in a death camp. Perhaps together we can devise a way of surviving past what they have planned for us. We must get back to the barracks. They locked them at 10. Good night, Leo. Good night, Sasha. Samuel, good night. He wants us to trust him. To do what? I do not know for sure. An escape? Hmm, maybe. Why do we need civilians? We are soldiers. We can handle it ourselves. <laughs> He's trying to use us. He... He knows this place. Maybe we should use him to get out. Wrong. You're ready now. We've got ten minutes to get everybody fed. There's extra work today. Start surfing. But not hard enough. deal of work planned for you. as long as the trains keep coming in. We must escape. Yes, escape. For how many? All 600. Every prisoner in Sobibor. The whole camp. 
camp. Move on! The more people who know of an escape plan, the less chance of success. Yes, of course. That's why it's absolutely essential that it remain a secret until the last minute. Then everyone must get a chance. I will need a detailed map of the entire camp. We can get that for you. We can also get you a fairly good map of the minefields outside the camp. Mine. Minefield. Except for the front gate, it runs all around the perimeter of the camp. You see how terrified they are of us. <laughs> also, I need to know everything you can tell me about the SS and the Ukrainian guards. How many, what they do. We can get that for you. Now, the two of us cannot be seen every night alone talking together. Mm. How can we meet without causing suspicion? Well, the SS is used to seeing me here. Perhaps if you had a girlfriend, you would come and visit her here every night. That would look normal to them. I think we'd better get you a woman. It's got to be somebody completely trustworthy. Give me 24 hours. Such a brief acquaintance. That was a lovely smile. <laughs> Love at first sight. Those are my instructions. It is a beautiful night. Look at the moon, Sasha. Look at the board, Sasha. Do you want wine? No. You have it. I'll take it. We should go just before dark. Enough light to find our way into the woods. Too dark for them to hunt us. It will give us a head start until morning. Right. Is there an electrician? One you can trust? Yes, Abraham Weiss. He does some of the electrical work here. Because among the last things we do is we cut the electrical lines and the telephone. We will leave them with no way to call for help. I understand. How many SS are here? 16 and 125 Ukrainians. The Ukrainians are all armed, right? Yes, there's a lot of strength there. But when you cut out the brains, strength is useless. How do we get rid of 16 SS all at once? I don't know if my men are capable of killing. But killing the SS is the key to our plan. I have a tailor. I, I have a carpenter. I, I have two shoemakers. I, I, I ran a flour mill. Before the war, I was a bookkeeper. I played the piano. I wrote songs. They will manage because they have to. What is the simplest plan? I will tell you. 600 prisoners walk out the main gate. 
They just walk out. Right after evening roll call. They just walk out the front gate. That's impossible. That's crazy. Except for one thing. Nothing is impossible for us. So let us create a plan. We're 600 prisoners. Walk out the main gate. Are you waiting for the Russian? Yes. Are you in love with him? I think so. What am I saying I know, Tom? <laughs> what do you like? I don't know. I, I fell in love so quickly I haven't found out yet. Has he said that he loves you? No, not until tonight. In about an hour. <laughs> Good evening. Sasha, this is Abraham Weiss, the electrician that I spoke to you about. We've just had a very interesting game. Yes, we have, but I'm a better electrician than I'm a chess player. Good to meet you, Lieutenant. I'll be seeing you tomorrow night. Good, good. One thing I know, the couples have the run of the camp. Any plan to succeed, we must have the cooperation of at least one of them. But they work for the Germans. Is there anyone we can trust? Kapa Porchek. One or two others, maybe. One I know we can't trust is a man named Berliner. You must kill him. Don't leave any marks. It will be done. My people will do it. We talked last night about cutting out the brain. Let us suppose, just suppose, that most SS were dead, even, even all of them. All right, let's suppose. It would have to happen secretly. We would have to isolate them, kill them one by one, in an hour, at most. Well, let us assume we can do that. Where would we stand? The Ukrainians would become confused. The escape could begin. Right. <sighs> the prisoners in compound three, the men who cremate the bodies, how do we get them out? This is a problem. They can't come out. We're forbidden to go in there. We can't even get a message through to them. We've tried. I don't think we can help them. You wanted to see me? Yes. Can you make knives in your shop? Like this? Careful. Yes. Just like that. How many? to be important. Or it's 25 for you. I told you, sir. I don't know what's happening in there. Kappa Porchek said for me to get you right away. 
That's all I know. Watch it! Watch it! Tell Sergeant Frenzel that Obercapo Berliner is very sick. Everyone must be in position by 3.30. The killings must begin at 4. They must be done in one hour. Two things I've learned about the Germans. Their punctuality and their greed. And make use of that. I think so. For example, Sammy was making a pair of boots for Lieutenant Neiman. We can get him to the shoe shop for a fitting and kill him there. What about the Reichleitner and Wagner? Reichleitner is a problem. We know he checks the entire camp at noon. And then again at five after roll call. But he always has men with him. Wagner has no pattern. Slomo's making jewelry for him. Could you get him to the machine shop? We need this kind of information on every SS in camp. We must have our killers in the right place at the right time. Can we get some watches so we can coordinate our timing? Yes, I think so, from the sorting shed. Good. Sasha, I have to be one of the killers. I want Wagner. Shlomo, my men will be in charge of the killings, and I will make the assignments. Sasha, I know I'm not supposed to talk about it, but it's terrifying to listen to you talking about life and death in such a cold blood. Well, sometimes one has to think of them that way. No. No? <laughs> Why not? Because everything is too real to me. Too alive. Sasha, would I feel for you? I... No. Luca. You must not say that. Please, listen to me. I have a wife and a little daughter. As far as I know, they're still living. I love them both very much. Why didn't you tell me? I do not know. We are pretending, aren't we? Pretending? Oh. Lukaczka. I never intended um, Oh, 
Professor Niemann, Oberschaffeur Frenzel, Wagner and I will be in Lublin for three days. No transports are coming in until after we're back. You two will be in charge while we're away. All right, we'd better go. Gentlemen. We just found out that Captain Reichleitner and Wagner left today for a three-day trip. Leon and I have come to a decision. We escape tomorrow. That's a lie. Oh, God. Now, let us go over the details. The killings will start at 4 o'clock tomorrow. Until then, it's a normal day. Leon will be in charge of compound two. I will be in compound one. Porche, you will arrange for me and two of my men to be in the carpenter shop. And Toivy will run his little legs off carrying messages between us. Who is scheduled to take evening roll call with Frenzel? Sergeant Wolf. He must be killed as well. Leon and I will handle that. I promise you. When we hear Judas bugle, we act normal. We go to the assembly area. By then, the key SS should be dead. And instead of dismissing us, Porchek will march us to the main gate. We will have pistols to take care of the guards in the tower. We kill the two Ukrainians at the gate, open it, and out we go, running like Cossacks into the woods. Anything goes wrong before we get out is everyone for himself. I've been working on the stoves in the Ukrainian barrack. I think I can steal some rifles and ammunition from there tomorrow. What do you think? Good. Meet my men just before roll call in the kitchen. And Shlomo, do not take any unnecessary risk. In Sobibo? <laughs> Stop! You, work here. Come on. Sasha will be here in a few minutes. Sergeant Frenzel? No. Where is Frenzel? Outside the sergeant's barrack. Do you know where he is to be killed? Yes, the carpenter shop. Do not get him in there before I tell him. You ready? Yes. Take us to the clothing storehouse. We'll pick up Monday on the way. All right. Please, sir, they're late. So far, so good. Go tell Sasha we're ready. Over, Capo. Yes, sir. Pick three men from the sorting shed. Yes, sir. For what job, sir? For heavy labor in the North Camp. Do it! Yes, sir.
You, 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 come with me now. Toby. Leon, look! It's Paul Check. He's going the wrong way. Toby, tell Sasha, an SS corporal with a machine gun is taking away Paul Check with three prisoners. I don't know where they're going, I don't know what it means, but we may have to do without Paul Check now. Hurry, you have 10 minutes before you bring Sergeant Wolf back here. Look out! Clack's coming in. What are we gonna do? Get back. Get back. Yes, sir. Can I help you, sir? I want the wool shirt. They're in the back, sir. Please help yourself. You. You don't work here. You work in the sorting shed. What are you doing? Oh. It begins. There's no turning back now. Hide the body. Good afternoon, sir. The footsore told me you have a leather coat for me. Yes, sir. I think you're going to like it very much, sir. I might have to let it out of the waist. It's a beautiful leather, sir. Very expensive. Hmm? Handsome. Very handsome. Good. You can fit me uh, at the table tomorrow. Uh, but, sir, would you like to see how it looks now? What was that? for you. The Taylor Mundek has found a beautiful jacket for you. If you could stop in the clothing store room, sir. He said it'll just take a second. A jacket? Who said I wanted a jacket? I don't know, sir. But the tailor said it would be perfect for you. All right. I'll look at it. There are two dead so far, Sergeant Wolf and Corporal Clatt. I thought we had Sergeant Beckman, but he walked away. Where's Beckman? Have you seen Sergeant Beckman? Yes, he was here, but he left. Damn it, we lost him. He must have gone back to his office. Leon. If you need me, I want to help. Can you deal with Beckman? Yes, I can. I'll find a way to get you there. Sergeant Frenzel, they'd like to see you in the carpenter shop at 4.30. Why? To pick the color of the stain for your bookcase. To pick the color? Why didn't that idiot ask me when I was in there yesterday? I don't know, sir. Should I tell him 4.30? No. I'll be there when I decide to be there. Today, tomorrow, or whenever.
Will you stand next to me at the roll call? If you will do one thing for me. I will try. Tell me. If you will wear this, for good luck. Good afternoon, sir. Are my boots ready? Yes, sir. I hope you'll be pleased with them, sir. I want to try them on. Yes, sir. Uh, by all means, sir. I'll take his pistol. You keep it. Clear up. Pallister's next. Yes, Sergeant Pallister. You better hide. Chauffeur of Pallister. What is it? A message from Chauffeur of Beckman. Tell him I took care of this yesterday and not to bother me about it again. Yes, Chauffeur. Are my boots finished? Yes, sir. They're finished. Please sit down. I've stretched them, sir, so I think you'll find them a lot more comfortable now. My wife. My child.
We need help. Get two men to unload those. Yes, sir. So far, we've been very lucky. But Frenzel is missing. And we may have trouble with Beckman. Go over to compound two. Leon needs help. I just can't believe it. We're actually killing SS men. I mean, that's a hard thing to believe. Killing them. It's beautiful. I just can't believe it. Tell me. Tell me how you do it. You are a plumber, are you not? Of course you are. Only a Jewish plumber could concoct something so obviously delicious. So tell me how you do it. You do speak, don't you? Yes, sir. What's your Christian name? I'm just trying to be friendly. What's your Christian name? I have no Christian name. Only a Jewish name! My name is Herschel Zuckerman, and don't you forget it. It's almost time for roll call. Go to Beckman's office. If everything looks all right, kill him. You come right back here, get Talamari and the other Russians, take them to the compound of one. Fine. It's one we didn't plan. I know. Thank you. Here, use this. No, please let him use this one. Good luck.
It went well. We killed five. That makes ten altogether. Eleven. Twenty. Would have been better. Here are some pistols. Leon has the rest. Good man, Calamari. What's in the box? Two rifles. Ammunition. Just one clip. Each. Go to the kitchen. You take him. Ask Shlomo if he has any ammunition. So far, we've been too lucky. Someone's bound to catch on soon. Judah, you better sound a bugle now. Still no Sergeant Frenzel. If he shows up at roll call, we can get him there. If not, God help us. I think I would not. It's going to be cold at night. Question, have you seen him? He'll be here, he'll be here. Put the bullets here. You see? Here. I don't know how to use this. I blow the whistle for roll call. <laughs> More than ten minutes before roll call. I don't think we can wait that long. Look what's happening. Let's go. No. Through shop and the past. Both murdered. No. Stop! Stop! We'll never make it to the front gate now. Listen to me! 
to me. Our day has come. Most of the SS are dead. It's everyone for himself now. Those of you who survive, bear witness. Let the world know what has happened here. God is with you. Now let nothing stop you.
Get up, Craig. Get up, Sammy. We're almost at the work. Get up. prisoners escaped safely to the forest. Here, Ada and Itzhak Lichtman found each other. On the run, they managed to stay alive. After the war, they were married and emigrated to Israel, where they still live, in Holon, near Tel Aviv, close to other Sobibor survivors. Toivi, with two other boys, was hidden by a Polish farmer who eventually shot them for their money. With a bullet in his jaw, Toivy pretended to be dead, but managed to stay alive to liberate him. Thomas Toivy Blatt, married and has three children. Today, he lives in Santa Barbara, California. Yet, he returns each year to Sobibor in remembrance of his family, who died there. Chaim and Selma made it to a small farm where they were given shelter until the liberation. Happily married for more than 40 years and the parents of two grown children, Chaim and Selma Ingle now live in Connecticut. Stanislaw Shlomo Schmeisner joined the partisans and became an active fighter against the Nazis in Poland. There is no record of what happened to his younger brother, Moses. After the war, Shlomo emigrated to Brazil, where he married and raised two sons. In South America, he was largely responsible for the discovery of Sergeant Gustav Wagner in 1978. Brazilian law did not allow for Sergeant Wagner's extradition, but a year later he was found stabbed to death. The records list Wagner's death suicide. Captain Franz Reichleitner was reassigned to Trieste and was killed by partisans less than three months after the Sobibor revolt. Esther Turner managed to hide from the Germans and from hostile Polish nationals until the Russian liberation. She moved to the United States and now lives with her husband Irving in New Jersey. Esther has testified in many war crimes trials in West Germany, including the trial of Sergeant Eric Bauer, who died in prison. Esther and Thomas Blatt testified at the trial of Sergeant Frenzel, who was convicted and is still alive, serving a life sentence. Sasha Pachersky and many of his men made it back to the Russian lines to rejoin the fight against the Nazis. In 1963, Sasha gave key testimony in a war crimes trial against 11 Ukrainian guards at Sobibor. Today, at 77, Sasha is retired and lives with his wife Olga in Rostov-on-the-Don in the Soviet Union. Luka vanished in the Polish countryside. All efforts, including Sasha's, to locate her proved unsuccessful. The good luck shirt Luka gave to Sasha is now displayed in a Russian museum honoring those who fought and died for freedom in World War II. Leon Feldhandler fought his way back to Lublin in Poland, where he remained safe until the liberation. There he ran a small business employing and helping many Jews who had survived the camps, including Sobibor. Fourteen months after the escape and the confrontation with a group of anti-Semites, Leon was murdered by his countrymen because he was a Jew. October the 14th, 1943, Sobibor, a Nazi death camp where over one quarter of a million Jews were killed. But in the revolt that day, over 300 of the 600 prisoners made it to freedom, something which had never happened before and would never happen again in World War II. Within days, SS Chief Himmler ordered the camp closed, dismantled, and planted with pine trees. In that forest now stands this monument to the dead. It is also a reminder of the valiant fighters of Sobibor, who were among those who began to make the idea and the vow never again a reality. Thank <laughs> you.